My name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I help middle school math teachers inspire and engage our students inside the classroom so we can still have a life outside the classroom. Today, I want to share with you what we as math teachers can do when our students come into our math classes and don't know their basic multiplication skills. I don't know about you, but I am seeing this much more, especially in recent years. So what can we do about it? We as math teachers already have so much to do, which includes teaching all of our math standards, preparing our students for the state test, and everything in between. So today, I wanna to share with you three tips of what we can do to help our students and be able to do all that we have to do as math teachers as well. So let's jump right in. Tip number one is use the time that you already have inside of your classroom to spiral math multiplication practice already into your classroom. So if you're already using a warm up, which if you're not doing, I highly encourage you to do, spiral those multiplication, ma multiplication math facts practice into your warm up. So as you can see here, this is exactly what my warm up is for tomorrow. And I've included a question about two digit times a one digit. And you don't have to include one that's this difficult, but I've just included one like this so my students can practice. We've done so far in the year, lots and lots of practice with just a one digit times a one digit. So my students have kind of moved up into this and a lot of my students know this, can do this, but I also have a lot of students who could really use this, you know, use the help. So as you can see, there I have a couple of questions of concepts that we're, we're currently working on. And then I threw in a division problem too. Because my students struggle with multiplication, they naturally already struggle with division. So I'm throwing one in there just as practice. Tip number two, use math talks in your classroom. If you're not using math talks already, you can click the link above or below, depending on how you're watching this video. And I have a downloadable resource for you to, for you to use in your classrooms all about math talks. Math talks are amazing because it opens up that conversation about math in your classroom and it allows your students to really think about math in a different way. Tip number three, which is probably the most controversial, is I do allow my students to use a calculator in my classroom, but please note, I don't allow them to use it every single day all the time. I understand that on our state test, they're not allowed to use a calculator, but I want my students to use a calculator when we're learning new concepts so they're not getting stuck on the multiplication. I want them to be able to learn the actual math concept so that they're not getting frustrated and they're not, they're not facing these obstacles when, you know, like I don't want that to be an obstacle for them. So use a calculator however way you want, but I do allow my students to use them when we are learning a new concept so that they're just not tripped up on something that they just don't have to be. So I hope those three tips help you with your students who may struggle with, with really mastering their multiplication facts. Don't forget to click the link above and below for downloadable Math Talks resource, and you can get 10 free pre-algebra lesson plans. See you soon, bye.